Oh, I love Australia. <laughs> when yeah. you walked in the studio today, you were like, wait a minute, where are you from? And I said Australia. Yes. And the look on your face just... Oh, yeah. What kind of experiences did you have Oh, in just great experience. I didn't realize that black people were like pretty rare there. It was weird. Like I got... Tre- it, it's weird how you get treated as a dark-skinned black guy there. That, it, well, I didn't get treated bad. Don't get me wrong. I didn't get treated bad at all. But it was just... I don't know. But it, anyway, they showed me so much love. So you were surprised at the reaction that you got yeah. when you went out there. Yeah. I was what in- were you expecting? I don't know because we were in London in Germany before, but it was just like whatever. It was like it was okay. different. It was it wasn't that. It was way different from Australia. Mm, oh, hell yeah! Really? Fuck yeah! It wasn't talk as, about uh, it because this shows international affairs. So okay, talk about it. When we was in uh, Ger- Germany, I really felt like a foreigner. Like I really felt like I was I was a foreigner in Germany. Yeah, I was, but I felt it. They made you feel like that. Yeah, when I went okay. to Australia, I felt like I was back in fucking America. I was just around people with accents. That was it. Like, they, they like they love hip hop like we do. Same stores. I was like, oh shit, a fucking Target. Like, yeah, it was it was weird. It Hobson felt- loves it a lot. To, oh uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Hell yeah, I love it too. Like that's the, that's yeah. my favorite spot, man. Australia. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Did Am you I- like Sydney? I told you I was from Sydney. I love Sydney. Yes. Yeah. Sydney was everywhere. Was though I was in Sydney, Gold Coast, Perth. Um. Wales, I feel like Wales. They man. do love hip hop, though. They I must love say, fucking they love hip hop, and they'll go out and pay the tickets to go see you yeah. guys. You know the live the live circuit over there is huge. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Nigga snatched the tail off of my raccoon hat in Australia. Oh. Oh yeah, so. that's not a good thing. ASAP Rocky slapped people out there for doing yeah, stuff like that, them, yeah. but yeah, I ain't want to slap no. You, you, you kind of with me. Some of the kids they so like fragile. I had my moments where I, mm. I had to slap somebody a couple times, but it has to be something extreme. You you gotta like if you if you put if you slap slap snatching my fucking tail off my hat was you just calling the moment. He's fucking hyper, calling the moment. So you gotta kind of learn how to. He wasn't being aggressive with nah, it. You're saying nah, you yeah. gotta learn how to separate yeah. just excited fans from right. disrespect. Right. And plus they so. How about when fans like that out there say the n word? How do you feel about it, that? See, I'm a weird dude when it comes to that. It doesn't bother me because I'm actually, I got to, I, I stopped doing it. But there's a part in my show where I give people the nigga ticket. I get white people. I say, white people, uh, if you know the words uh, to my shit, you, <laughs> here's the nigga ticket. You can say the word nigga. You, they know the lit. They saying it anyway. Like you, you in the fucking music. So it's so awkward when you sell, when you got a line and you stop and you saying nigga. And, how, how, how did how do you give them a ticket to say it in one instance and then take that ticket back? I don't take the ticket back because when so they, they can s- just say it whenever they want. Let you, me just say once this. Once Jaron Benson's given them a ticket. When you got the ticket, you if you in my show, I always say this too. Whatever happens to you after the show with the ticket is not my responsibility. So if you round somebody else and you say nigga oh, and they take man. it the wrong you know way. What? You know what's interesting that you say that? Because yeah. now Kanye's coming under fire because APC, this clothing line that he's uh, collaborated with, the owner of the line has called the last collection the last N-words in Paris, right? Yeah. And everyone's saying, how can Kanye let this man say the N-word and allow it to happen? But I remember being in Australia many years ago, an Australian music journalist asked Kanye on a music channel in Australia called Channel V. Uh, that was when Gold Digger first came out. And yeah. the journalist said to him, Kanye, I love your music. Um, I want to sing along to Gold Digger. But when I get to the part where, you know, she, you say she ain't messing with no broke M word. Yeah. My mother raised me that that was a bad word and I wasn't allowed to say it. What do you think? So here I am thinking, well, Kanye is going to educate the masses in Australia. And because and, and so many kids use that word without understanding the consequences. Yeah. Kanye turns around and says, well, you can say it like. But just don't say it around the wrong black people because yeah. I, I don't personally mind. And I was That's like, I Kanye, there's but there's so many young people watching you. But that was his approach to it. That's how I feel the same. If you know the words to my song, you bought the album, you support me. Hmm. It's awkward if I'm saying nigga, you can you rock with it. If you feel it, you can say it. I don't take it as disrespect. Now there is a. Yeah, there is a those same kids tone. could turn around and use yeah. it thinking they have a pass to use it, but say it around someone that it offends and get a very different reaction to yeah. the ticket Jaron Benton gave so, them. But that's why I give, them the, I give them the disclaimer. I always say, listen, you can say it here, but outside of the show, uh, hey, 
You never know. You oh, can't so you're see. giving them a little yeah. safety wall? Yeah, I get, yeah, hell yeah. I tell oh, them, like, man. listen, now outside It's an sh- interesting subject. It's definitely, yeah. an, and, and I but think me, conversation is healthy. Definitely. Me personally, I don't mind, long as it's in, if, if it's not in a disrespectful way. Like, don't come up to me like, you fucking nigger. You know what I'm saying? That's... It's a big difference. But at that point, how you, sometimes how are you? The lines get blurred, don't they? Or, or they'll never they're never blurry for you. But you, you can know. do that in any 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 type of con- like. Let's say if I'm talking to a female and I'm friends with, her, I'm like, oh, bitch, you true. I don't necessarily call my female friends bitches, but I can say bitch in an endearing way, and then I can say you fucking bitch. The fuck, you know what I'm saying? It's it's I guess the people give the word the power. And however you you know flip it on a person is I don't know, but yeah. in me personally, if you sing in my lyrics and I say nigga, you can say nigga. That's just for me. So you're saying when you see those kids in the audience, it doesn't even it's just part of the experience. Yeah, but it do you. get weird. I'm gonna say this: it yeah. gets weird if I'm chilling with it, if I'm chilling and I'm signing autographs and the kid must oh my nigga, what's, it's just. You, and do they say that? Yeah, yeah, but it's and it's not. I'm shocked at the fact that they said nigga. It's just they sound. But it doesn't sound authentic. How it's is like that shocking to you when you've made them feel comfortable to sing along to the word? Because it's not like the word nigga is not shocking. It's they seem awkward. They don't seem comfortable saying ah. it. Like they seem like they're trying. Mm. So like Matt, like fucking what is it? Malibu, Mo, Malibu most wanted. Like, yeah, it doesn't seem natural. So like, you're saying deep down, they probably realize they shouldn't maybe be saying it, but they're trying to be part of a world that they think you belong to. So, trying to be cool and like, yo, right. my nigga, what's yeah, up? Like, yeah, I, you, look, you, I think conversations on, like this are really important yeah. because there are kids that do use the word. There's people, there's artists like you who have explained that in your music and having them sing along with it, you don't have an issue with, but then there's other artists that do have an issue with it. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I think conversations like this are really healthy. And you tour the world now. I tour the so world. So you're seeing everything under the oh, sun yeah. at the moment. Yeah, you know? hell yeah. You're seeing hip hop, you know, in every pocket of the globe and how it affects yeah. kids. Yeah. And you said you were surprised and yeah. but you got a warm reception. That's the main thing. Yeah, but like I said, it, yeah. it's, it's not, it was just, they just seemed corny when they were saying it. Like, yo, come on, man. You're trying to, it's just be the equivalent of even if, he, if even if someone wasn't saying nigga, if they was like, yo, what's up, homie? You know, just it, yeah. just like, yo, stop it, man. Yeah. Just in general, the whole, just be you when be you meet you. me. Be well, you. Well, that's an even bigger issue. People just non- knowing how to breathe and be themselves. But yeah. Darren, listen, we were just talking off air about Australia. Yes. And you have just visited there not too long ago. Not too long. I've been, I've, been there, I've been there a couple times, You've been there too. a couple oh, times now. Yeah. So my DJ on my show, DJ Leon Smith, he's actually known, well, he's the self-prescribed uh, Australia's number one strip club DJ. Oh, is he? DJ okay. Leon Smith, he DJs at Butterbing so in can, Sydney. Can, okay, have so you been can. to Butterbing? Because you were just telling me about how you like Australian strip clubs, which is interesting to me. Tell me. I'm from the home of strip clubs. I'm from Atlanta. Now, some places you can touch the chick. You know, shit, there's places in Atlanta where... You could probably stick a finger, uh, you know, stick a finger in the chick. I, you know but, what? I've only been to maybe two, three strip clubs in my life, and I've seen it in Atlanta. I was at one called Platinum Twenty One. Platinum Twenty One. Yeah. And I literally think I just saw what you explained. But you, yeah, go on. I like strip, and but if you go anywhere else, you can't put your hands on them. Like all the other strip clubs, like yeah, no hands, you know. Australia, I was in there. I was like, you know, I'm in foreign land. I'm not go. So she's like, he can touch everything. Just don't touch my, you know, don't touch a fucking vagina. So I'm just I was fuck yeah that's crazy like I, that's what I like like so in, I didn't even know that in Australia yeah I I don't even remember the name of the strip club but yeah she what I was city just were like, you in oh my ah uh, Gold Coast Gold Coast yes okay so it was like hands on tits hands on ass and you but, can't do that in every strip club in America no no oh no hell no oh in New York you can't right I, I definitely uh, I only don't think New York they no. don't even fucking you can't even see they don't even take their panties off right no andrew they don't take now okay oh yeah and rods okay thank you guys no okay yeah, yeah. la you can't la you can't touch anything nah. so in australia you can touch everything but except for the vagina except for that's the what vagina. i don't that's what happened while I, when I was the there vagina? i don't want to touch the vagina I, <laughs> uh, I don't know like you, you know you I might know, like depending on how many drinks i had i might okay Jared. you know and depending on how fresh the, the smell is going all right there. well this is going into <laughs> My next question: Are you married with two kids? I'm married with two kids. Okay, she's well, like, well, how in the fuck are you able to say that? Yes, yeah, so because my <laughs> wife don't even listen to this shit. So, <laughs> hey, aha, one, I'm winning, nigga. <laughs> how long have you been with your wife for? We've been together for a minute, man. But I was on some nigga shit. We ain't get married till later. You know how? We oh, do. okay. You know how we do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I actually do. So, um, 
she must be very understanding. Oh yeah, she's very understanding. Because yeah. you were just talking about touring. And oh yeah, yeah. Doing whatever you. I mean, have you been honest with her from day one? Were you rapping when you met her? Yeah, hell yeah. So that's what I, I was just telling somebody that man. I was so she's used to. She's used to me pursuing rap. She's this like this. This is nothing that just jumped in the way. Mm. This has always been in the way. Mm. I was doing it before I met her, so mm. it go hand in hand. God bless me. her. Yeah. She must be a patient woman. Oh, she's real. Yeah, hell yeah. God, yeah. Thank she. She ride for me too. Yeah, she's been hella patient. What um, what about her? Let you know she was the one that you were gonna marry. Um, damn. She good. She don't listen, so I can. I. Uh, <laughs> She was always there, but when I married her, I didn't propose. It was more so of like, we living together, we got kids, like, let's make it official. So you had the babies first? Yeah, 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 hell yeah. Okay. And How then, old are they now? Actually, I I had my daughter first. My daughter okay. is about to be 11. My son oh, is wow. five, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was just one of those situations where it was like, that's she, but she, she's still like, you better romantic, propose to me. Jared, you better yeah. give me a ring. You, I, I didn't even have a ring. Yeah, but I, yeah, I'm gonna make it special. You no, know, my my chips getting up, so you know I'm a, I'm a surprise him one day. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna re. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah you're gonna pay her gonna back for it. all those times oh, that she yeah, held, yeah. You, held yeah. you down. Hell yeah! Do I you got take it. marriage seriously? I take it ser- as serious as I can. Yeah, I take it pretty. I take it real serious. Yeah. <laughs> Your man's over here cracking up. <laughs> I take it extremely serious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's your advice for? Uh, Cause you don't meet many married rappers nowadays. You know what? There's a lot of them. They just, I'm just the only nigga that's just I put Real it out there. There's yeah. tons of them. Like you meet a yeah. lot. Even niggas I didn't even know was married, and I got to meet them, and I talked like, oh damn, nigga, you married? Like yeah, it's a lot of them. Um, what advice? Yeah. Um. When when do you know as a man that it's time to get married? Um. When you've been with that person for you would know when you've been with that person for a minute and um. I don't. I don't even fucking know. To be honest with you, mm. I, I have no idea. Yeah. I knew she was the one. She just rocked with me, man. We just been through so much shit. Like, so you're saying, sorry to cut you off. If you were to marry anyone, she was gonna be the one. Yeah, oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> she she just I it, she put up with so I'm much. Trying to shit. explain this for you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> she put up with so much <laughs> shit that it's like, yo. Who else gonna put up with my shit? Like, but see, why does a woman have to put up with shit to get a ring? You know, that's just because when you when you're trying to get gold, what are they doing? When you're trying to get a diamond, what are they doing? They 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 they're sifting through fucking dirt and all of that, and then next thing you know, you got a fucking diamond. <laughs> that was a good. Thank you. That was a great. That's that's a. So you're saying we have to sift through dirt yeah. for years, yeah, to get a the man diamond. that's worth marrying ultimately, because maybe he wasn't worth marrying. This is me Actually, trying to make it real. F- like no, the listen, diamond, yeah. the diamonds are always covered in so much right. dirt. You just so gotta get up. We have to just yeah. wait it out. Just with wait. You just until keep. Yeah. Get. Just keep brushing the dirt off, Ooh. and then next thing you know, you got a diamond in your hand. Are you a diamond right I'm now? Is that what you're diamond. saying? Hell yeah. <laughs> the best of the stones. You know what I'm saying? I love it. All right. Let's get into some more music. Let's that was it. love advice from Jaron Benson. That's love advice. <laughs> and you know, you should also marry when you can walk in the room and your girl is taking the shit and has a conversation with you. I've heard that before. That's what they say. That's the I, one I can't. I can't. I'm very old fashioned in that way. So yeah. I don't even like to talk about that type of stuff okay. with my man. But... I guess you're right because if I do, am, if I am comfortable to that extent with a man, then I guess that's the one you got to marry. Yeah, so. when you see her walking around and there's a fucking tampon dangling out of her shit, <laughs> I might be the one. 